There's those eerie winds they were talking about. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and I'm very excited. Today, we're taking a first look at Dronar Cinematic Atmospheres by Gothic Instruments. Now, this is the fifth module in Gothic Instruments' series of atmosphere creation tools. Unlike previous modules, this one here is focusing on that top dial, that effects dial. There's a real focus on eerie and haunting, dark, mysterious tones, and even in the promotional material, it says that, that some are simply offensive to the ears, and that's all thanks to working with trailer sound designer Alessandro Camnasio, who has a wide range of credits that will leave many a trailer composer or sound designer envious. Dronar Cinematic Atmospheres downloads as uh, just under four gigabytes, and it is a sample set of evolving and complex samples all layered together with their engine for low, mid, high, and that effects layer. There's echoing winds, rumbles, atmospheres, warp textures, and the library comes with 144 NKI patches, uh, many of which are guest presets created by professional film composers, some I'm pretty big fans of. Library does require the full version of Contact 5.6.8 or higher. I got a pre-release copy here. I wanted to do a first look, so unfortunately I didn't have the information for what the price will be for this drone art instrument. I'll include that as well as links to everything in the description below. Got uh, drone art pulled up here. It looks like there's a slew of folders, uh, each folder designated by a uh, composer. I mentioned that it had some really cool film composers contributing here. And uh, there's also one that says menus start here. So I'm um, going to go ahead and just jump in to this first menu, A Rockus by Jonathan Sharp. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to talk. I'm just going to play. I've got my uh, app up on my uh, tablet so I can control the different layers. I just want to hear what the instrument has to offer and play through a bunch of the presets. Probably uh, about 20, maybe 30 minutes or so. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty cool already. I really like this one. I'm uh, assuming that these are menu. And if I go to this uh, uh, F sharp, we have a different sample set loaded up, I believe. Let's check it out. Yeah, I could see the way this is built. It's um, uh, it's gonna be really great for underscore tension. Just being able to change it, like just bringing in here before I even play this next one. I'm just gonna mute everything uh, down and bring my high in. Am I low? So I've got one note and just evolving between those uh, pads there. Uh, my microphone might be a little hot. Let me pull it back. I don't want you to not hear the music. Here we go. So what I am assuming, and I could be wrong, is that uh, these red keys represent um, all of the individual instruments that are laid out in the Jonathan Sharp folder, because this is the menu or the 
Arrakis by Jonathan Sharp. Uh, let's just land randomly listen to a couple more. Here's the uh, next one here. I, if I didn't mention it in the material, it says these cinematic atmospheres are really focused around the uh, effects layers, which were created by a pretty well-known sound designer. He's got a lot of great credits. Um, let's move along to uh, one more. This is pretty cool. I'm I'm really digging these already. Let's see what uh Benthos pads. So this is just the high and the mid that are turned on for that one. And that one's as well. neat stuff really liking the um <laughs> stupid to say it but i really like the atmospheric nature of this library thus far really cool too these are by uh, uh marianne fisher i'm a big i'm a i really do love her music i don't know if you guys have checked it out i think i'll probably say this every time there is a uh, drone art project in which she's created pre some presets big fan of her music fun fun stuff uh all i'm doing is i got my ipad set up with my um my i use lemur i know there's some other uh there's some included templates i believe for uh, another program maybe touch osc so you can jump right in and have a template on your tablet to control these which i highly recommend you get into um for 
many of your virtual instrument control needs. Something uh, very Vangelis about that one to me. Uh, very Blade Runner-esque. Let's move along. And here we go. Here's the uh, the sound designer, uh, Alessandro Camnasio. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He created the uh, all the effects uh, presets that are in this library. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Thing I do really appreciate about uh, having the composers do these presets um, is you really do have a very different different temperament for each of uh, each of the preset menus. You can really hear that personality kind of come through for those designers, uh, sound designers, composers that worked on the presets. Here we got uh, Getty Prime. Sounds like a brook. Is it a creek, river, lake, outlet? Again, I'm just moving through these, playing a couple different keys. I just want to get an idea of what uh, some of the instrument, how it responds, what some of the samples work like together. I think it does, um, it does have a nice eerie feel to it. Okay, KK Hellscapes. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's definitely one of the more grating ones that I've heard. It's nice. And if you noticed, uh, the way that the template's laid out here, I've got uh, the mod wheel uh, normally is linked to the intensity. It looks like on these ones, they're linked over to the movement, which is giving us a, a different effect as we fade it up. This is uh, some, these are really cool. I like these. These are by I assume these are by Kyle uh, Nicely. So I hope that's how I pronounce it. These are really great. I'm really digging this one. Yeah, let's move along. Okay, Vinko Borisic. Mysterium Textures. There's those eerie winds they were talking about. Yeah. Great job, Vinko. I like these. I'm going to go on a limb here and say that uh, Vinko and I, uh, yeah, there's some tastes I think that we might have in common because I'm really digging what he's done with these. Let's jump along. Uh, there's only three left, but I feel like uh, I'm running out of time here. So let's jump through them quickly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Quarantine drones. Nice. 
place. I like this one with the little broken beads in the back. This is just the tip of the iceberg of the presets of what Drone Art Cinematic Atmospheres module has to offer. I'm a pretty big fan of what Gothic Instruments has done with the uh, overall temperament, timbres, tones, and curated layers that they've got together here. I barely touched the surface of what this instrument is capable of with all of the additional panels and layers, arpeggiation effects. Um, I'll be sure to include a uh, link and a video in sample library reviews drone or cinematic atmospheres page where we'll have um Graham, dan grams uh, from gothic instruments does a nice walkthrough video of the drone art cinematic atmospheres as well as how the drone art engine all works now these drone art instruments just keep getting better and better in my opinion sound design wise and i think that uh, this particular one is gonna find homes in a lot of great sounding scores. Love to hear your thoughts. Are you using any other drone art instruments or are you a fan of Gothic instruments? Are you picking up the Cinematic Atmospheres module? Please comment in the description below. Love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.